Hi, this is Damien from DC Diagnostic Solutions. Today we're going to be analysing the CAN High Speed Network on a 2005 Renault Scenic. We can access the high speed network through the 16 pin data link connector using a, a breakout box. Pin 6 on the data link connector is CAN High, pin 14 is CAN Low and we can use 4 as ground for our testing. The high speed network uses a baud rate or communication speed of 500,000 bits per second. This is referred to as Class C CAN bus. Using the oscilloscope, we've selected a very small time base of 200 microseconds and a voltage scale on both channels of 5 volts. We can see CAN high is the yellow trace and that voltage is from 2.5 in the recessive state to 3.5 in the dominant state. CAN low is the green channel and that is 2.5 volts in the recessive state and 1.5 volts in the dominant state. So we can see during the dominant sta state we have a, a voltage differential of 2 volts. We can also see that the waveforms are a mirror image of one another. The reason for this is for signal quality and error detection. The network is able to analyse the data transfer from each module and a f fault tolerance is, is implemented in order to identify if a module is sending corrupt or erroneous messages. By stopping the trace and using the cursors we can actually measure the communication speed and we can see that we have we have one bit selected here and for that one bit it's 200 or sorry it's 2.2 microseconds this gives us our communication speed of 500 bits per second what we can also do if we run on the waveform we can connect the scope channel 1 and ground across pin 6 and pin 14 and we see on the yellow trace there we're getting our differential voltage of 2 volts. Another simple test is in order to ensure that the termination resistors which can be fitted either externally in the loom or using using uh, modules on the high speed network as in the ABS module or the engine control module can also be used to house the terminating resistors. The terminating resistors are to stop reflection in the circuit and to ensure that a, a clean signal is found. So we'll put the car to sleep mode by switching off the ignition and closing the car and we can see that our resistance is dropping down here and we have two 120 ohm resistors in parallel which should give us a total circuit resistance of approximately 60 ohms which we have. So by carrying out these simple tests we can ensure that the CAN network is in good condition. I hope this has been an informative tutorial for you.